Smart System, or Supersonic Missile Assisted Release of Torpedo. This groundbreaking weapon represents a major transformation in how India plans to defend its vast coastlines and secure the Indian Ocean region. The smart system is now preparing for trials in its final configuration, signaling that the weapon is nearing operational status. The smart system was last successfully tested in 2024, proving the core concept that a supersonic missile can carry and deploy an anti-submarine torpedo over extremely long distances. This test validated its range, speed, and precision. The upcoming final configuration trials are expected to assess advanced components such as the upgraded seeker, improved separation mechanism, and possibly the new two-way data link. These trials are seen as the final milestone before the Indian Navy begins large-scale induction of this strategic weapon. At its heart, SMART is a two-stage, solid-propelled supersonic missile housed inside a sealed canister. The canister ensures rapid deployment, long shelf life, and mobility across coastal regions. When launched, the missile ignites its first stage booster, propelling the system to high altitude and high speed. Once the first stage burns out, the second stage takes over and accelerates the missile to supersonic velocities, reportedly reaching and exceeding Mach 2.5 in its terminal phase. The engineering challenges behind this are immense. As the missile must ensure stability not only across high speeds but also while carrying the sensitive torpedo payload inside. The torpedo inside SMART is typically the DRDO developed advanced light torpedo Shaina or its improved next generation variant. Shaina is a lightweight, electrically propelled torpedo equipped with active passive acoustic homing, shallow water capability, and digital onboard intelligence. This makes it highly effective against modern submarines using stealth tactics, decoys, and quiet propulsion systems. When SMART reaches its designated GPS coordinate, the missile performs a controlled steep dive maneuver. The torpedo is then ejected using a parachute retarder system, which slows down its descent and ensures the torpedo enters the water at the correct angle and velocity once the torpedo is in the water. It activates its onboard sensors and propulsion system. From this point onward, the missile has completed its job, the torpedo becomes fully autonomous. It searches the underwater environment, discriminates between decoys and real targets, and homes in on the enemy submarine or even a slow-moving surface vessel. This combination of long-range missile travel and underwater torpedo hunting gives SMART a unique dual-domain engagement capability. A major highlight of SMART is the Indian Navy's plan to induct it not just aboard ships but as part of land-based coastal defense batteries. These coastal batteries will act as long-range anti-submarine warfare complexes, capable of attacking hostile vessels deep inside the Indian Ocean without deploying warships or PKTI aircraft. This shifts India's maritime defence posture from purely sea-based operations to a hybrid land-sea integrated architecture. Each smart coastal battery is expected to include 8 to 12 transporter erector launchers mounted on Tatra or Ashok Leyland high mobility vehicles. These launchers will be supported by a command and control centre, fire direction computers, phased array engagement radars, passive sonar integration terminals, and electro-optical tracking systems. Together, they will form a highly networked strike unit capable of launching smart missiles within minutes after receiving targeting inputs. Targeting data for smart batteries will come from multiple channels, including coastal radar chains, offshore surveillance platforms, naval frigates, submarines, UAVs, satellites, and maritime patrol aircraft like the PU-8I. Poseidon. This distributed sensor network ensures that the batteries have real-time situational awareness across hundreds of kilometers of maritime space. The ability to fuse data from different platforms, air, sea, and land, gives SMART a massive advantage when engaging stealthy submarines that constantly change position. One of the most significant features expected in the final configuration is the integration of a two-way data link. This allows mid-course guidance updates, meaning that even after launch, the missile can receive new targeting coordinates if the submarine changes direction or depth. Submarine warfare is dynamic, and this capability dramatically increases the chances of successful engagement. It also allows the smart system to dynamically react to updated intelligence and sensor inputs, making it highly adaptable in real-time combat. 
Smart's operational advantages are unmatched in its class. It offers a 650 km standoff strike range, the ability to hit both surface and subsurface targets, low launch signature, flexible deployment, and minimal exposure of frontline naval assets. In many ways, SMART gives India the capability to deny enemy submarines access to large swathes of the Indian Ocean region. This is a major force multiplier at a time when multiple extra-regional powers are increasing submarine deployments near India's maritime boundary, with BrahMos already serving in coastal defense roles, SMART provides a complementary capability optimized specifically for anti-submarine warfare. While BrahMos neutralizes surface fleets using sheer speed and kinetic power, SMART hunts enemy submarines using underwater torpedoes delivered from unimaginable distances. Together, they form a two-layered offensive shield that very few navies in the world possess. Once inducted, SMART will become an integral component of India's layered maritime defense doctrine, alongside naval aviation, surface combatants, undersea assets, low W-altitude drones, and maritime helicopters such as the MH-60R. It will enhance India's ability to monitor, control, and defend its vast maritime zone stretching from the Arabian Sea to the Bay of Bengal. More importantly, it will give India strategic dominance across the Indian Ocean region, ensuring that hostile submarines or warships can be deterred or destroyed long before they threaten Indian waters.